when you drive in, you think, is this really where we're shooting? <laughs> uh, carpet warehouse, yeah. The, uh, it takes the glamour away a little bit. It's extraordinary. It's three huge warehouses full of the most amazing sets. From the outside, all the sets just look like boxes. And then you step inside and they're so ornately decorated. It's almost like it could be made into a museum now. The attention to detail, how they managed to find these period pieces. And you could literally zoom in to any part of the set and it would be on point. It does half the work for you. All these letters, they've all got to Mr. Crab on from different people, and it's just incredible. It's, it takes a lot of research and a lot of hard work, actually, but, but it's, it's worth it. I'm pleased to hear that they, <laughs> they appreciate it. The Selfridges has evolved over the four series we've done it. The attention to detail for, the, for each period has been just extraordinary. And it's the most elaborate set that like I've ever seen. Mind blowing. I'd heard from previous actors that the set was huge but I was never expecting any scale. Favourite set for me works a lot on the temperature of a set <laughs> because um, we do film in a carpet warehouse. It it tends to be very cold. I do actually like it on the shop floor. Yes ladies can I help you? When we're in small little sets like this, it's like there's a gale blowing through. I think probably my worst set was Lady May's flat this year because it was absolutely freezing. The final series, they've really pushed the boat out. We're out on location more and more, and we've got to go to France. We're in the madness of the 20s with the... You know, the Dolly sisters and the, the drinking and the partying and the dancing and everything. The location was fantastic and then we had to make it into a bar and a club. All the way from America, Miss Alberta Hunter. Park Lane Ballroom, one of the oldest Art Deco ballrooms in London. When you saw the ballroom when it was empty mm. and then you sent me pictures of it when yeah. they, were dressed, they were dressing on a Saturday. It's just like a different place. Yeah. Like. Hundreds of extras dancing, rich colours, silks, velvets, chiffons, uh, devores, lots of beautiful fabrics. Everyone is dressed incredibly carefully and we always work to the highest standards. For the Dolly sisters, you want them looking so glamorous, the movie stars of that time. How long will you be staying in London? As long as you'll have her. Their hair is totally crazy and has been designed around champagne. <laughs> so you've got the bubbles and you've got the puff. This look is more like a Clark Gable rather than making him an old man. So we put a little bit of a nice little grace and white in the hair. I think the hair and makeup this year is just extraordinary. I was so taken aback when I came on set and suddenly saw so many people because. I don't think there's been this many people all at once since the very, very beginning when the store opened. Biggest crowd day ever on the show. We had 145 crowd, uh, and it, that's a big operation for a period drama. Makeup, props, wardrobe, lighting, sound, everyone. And you just sort of see every department getting on and making this special show to be part of. It's a really beautiful working environment in terms of everybody pulling together and trying to make the best show that they can. It's, it feels like it's a labour of love, and it always has. And the end is so close. I don't really believe it, like doing the photograph and things. I was like, not done already, are we? It's really sad, but I'm so proud of what we've done.